result in would were prohibited at available in the state of shock. Hi, I'm Dan Schinder here on Drum Talk TV here at NAM 2014 with Sabian at their Sabian booth with Simon Collins. Simon, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to Drum Talk TV. Uh, thank you for having me. Right. So what we're going to do is Simon and I are going to have a race up the Sabian wall and whoever makes it to the top first gets to pick out any five symbols they want. <laughs> That would actually be quite the challenge, that man. I got yeah, you. go go reach for the one you want the most. Exactly. I'm actually looking at uh, quite a few models here I've recently picked up, and uh, oh, well, talk yeah, about I'm that. Big, big, I'm a, well, I'm a big fan of the ozones. Yeah, me too. The evolutions, yeah. and uh, I use I use the ozones. You know, the, the the splashes and the crashes. Use a lot of. Yeah, I'm a big Sabian, uh, big Sabian fan. Been using Sabian for as long as I've been drumming. And uh, yeah, I used a lot of a lot of their new uh, new models on the the new album, Double yep. AAX and Double uh, HX, and but it's, it's quite the wall, impressive wall. That's very cool. Hey, so in case you've lived under a rock for 30 plus years, uh, Simon is the son of someone you might have heard of named Phil Collins, and I'm sure you have many many other drumming and musical and life inspirations, which we will talk about. But the first thing I want to make sure everybody knows is that um, not only is Simon a great drummer and vocalist, but a composer and producer as well. And I want to tell you that one of the tracks, it was actually the first track I ever heard of yours off of the album, which is Cosmic Distance Ladder. What I love about it is that it brings back, I'm a huge prog music fan, and it brings back that spirit but it didn't sound like dated music. And not that there'd be anything wrong with that, I'm just making a point that it's not dated music, it's very relevant, the sounds, the textures, the productions. Talk about that style of music and, and then kind of round out the album for us, if you will. Sure, yeah. Well, Dimensional really, you know, um, we're all in the band, we're massive science fiction fans and and uh, growing up on tour with, with Genesis, and you know, my dad used to take me to to see Pink Floyd shows and Yes shows, and that's something that's you know a, a soundtrack to my life. And you know, I'm a big, big fan of classic and progressive rock. But I also, uh, in my in my early 20s, I was a DJ as well, and I got uh, big into DJing, and and so I also explored uh, new sonic territory with, you know, with uh, the likes of uh, you know Simon Posford, Hallucinogen. So a lot of electronica as well. I think, you know, what was important is for us to keep music progressive in the truest sense of, of the word. Right. So, so, you know, Cosmic Distance Ladder is a, is a, is a good example of, of how we want to, to time travel, you know, uh, to time travel genre-wise and stylistically and, and, and bring something from the past and bring it into the future. And the album do it is a is a strong concept about a time traveler. Uh, it's also a very spiritual album, so uh, you know it comes into play with a lot of different mental atmospheres and uh, you know bringing new sonic territory together. And that's what Cosmic Distance Ladder really uh, highlights as uh, one of the you know one of the one of the instrumentals on the track, on the album. Sorry. And what's uh, what's a big inspiration for? For, 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 for us as, as a band but but you know specifically in that song is uh, I'm a, just personally speaking a massive Carl Sagan fan and uh, he introduced me to the cosmos when I was you know when I was uh, in my my late teens and and absolutely blew my mind what was out there and I, one of my favorite quotes of all time has got to be Carl Sagan's quote we are a way for the cosmos to know itself right right and uh, we actually put that at the beginning of our yeah. new video, Pale Blue Dot. And that really, to me, is a, it, it's a, you know, it's, it's a very, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a way to find, it get in touch with your spiritual, your spirituality. It's a very, you know, we, we're, we like to, we have a universally driven perspective as a band. And, you know, we're, we're trying to inspire people to take a, a, a look at things from a different perspective. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, from a universal perspective. Right. And, and, you know, the fact that our, our home planet is everything we know and have ever known has existed on this tiny speck, speck this of, speck you of know, speck. there's so much more out there. And what we try and do is capture the sound 
of, of, contact. of, of contact of contact of the cosmos and the mental atmospheres deep mental atmospheres of infinite depth of reach yeah. well I I love how that ties in with the whole concept and title of the album I mean the name in itself dimension not when I saw that I mean honestly I, the first thing I thought of was that's just effing clever man I couldn't wait to hear it just based on on that title well you know, as uh, you know we are creatures that are trapped in the physical dimensions and everything we we think and we believe and you know we seeing is believing and and you know what about what about all, everything that exists in the universe that we can't see right. you know that isn't illuminated S over 75 percent of what's in the universe that exists the dark matter is dark matter yeah. is something that we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist and so you know I think that's, that's a bit that's a big you know definitely a big part of uh, the character is it's transcending physicality and the dimension of consciousness is it's so powerful your imagination and the laws of attraction and and where your your where you can go in your mind within you know yeah within yeah. It, uh, simultaneously exactly yeah. and uh, you know uh, hey when the Maharishi died he was seen over the planet in multiple locations all at the same time yeah so we're, we're exploring a lot of that stuff. I used to transcendental uh, practice, transcendental meditation, and uh, you know I'm, I'm friends with Deepak Chopra. Uh, you know we, we are uh, we are trying to bring music of, of depth, of spiritual depth. Uh, I love that, and I'll tell you why I love that. Well, so many reasons. Well, personally, I connect with that very well. But the other thing is simply the spirit of music and what really brought popular music to the masses back in the 60s and right. early 70s was exactly that it, there was a conscious connection sure. yeah. and a spiritual connection and to be reviving that is just i mean that is really what music is all about is connecting to our our heart our sensibilities i'm not to sound corny or anything but i believe that no, it's very it's true corny at all you know i think i take what I do very seriously, I, it, you know, it, it's not a job. It, it's, it, it's my purpose in life. Everybody has a purpose. Primary purpose is just to exist, you know, and yeah. that, that should be that's a gift in itself. It's right. just to exist, you know, to 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 uh, to experience uh, to experience consciousness. But I think, you know, in a way, dimensional is uh, it, we are all dimensionals, right? And you know, Some of us are just not awake yet. Sure, I guess you could say that, you know. Uh, but musically, I take my job very seriously because what I do very seriously as an artist, it's, it's, I feel it's, I take a serious responsibility in reflecting the state of the social, you know, the social state of, of the planet, politically, environmentally, you know, socially. I, I think it's important that we provide hope that we that if you're gonna if you're if I'm gonna sing about something that's troubling me or that's is that's collectively a problem I'm gonna try and offer a solution I think it's really imp important in these day in this day and age to, to provide hope and positivity because there is a lot of negativity out there there is a lot of selfishness and and greed and and you know we're just trying to break through that and that's actually a part of you know what I do musically mirrors is it parallels my own path in life. You know, uh, Dimension Odd is, is, is a science fiction concept album, but it's actually just the story of one human being's path to enlightenment. So that's my path. You know, uh, that's I want to live a spiritual life, and that, that's all it is, you know, is finding a way back to yourself. Yeah. And, and you have to go through the dark stuff to get there first, you know. Right. And luckily, music is an amazing tool for people to do that. And, uh, you know, as I evolve, so does my music and vice versa. And know? it's a wonderful platform to speak through and connect with others that, A, either believe and feel the same ways or that are looking for something to grasp onto because they are tired of the dark and the negative and the greed and right. all of that. And if we send the right message out and broadcast it out through that platform, that can really reach everybody these days. It's it's a huge message to send in a huge way. Absolutely, you know, light is information. You know, music is information. All vibrations, you know, everything is everything that exists. All just all, all sound frequencies, vibrations, 
and they affect our bodies and our consciousness in a way, you know, telepathy, it's all frequencies. And so putting love and light and passion into, into the music that you make, I think people resonate with that or not, you know, and it depends where it's coming from. And, uh, you know, there's songs on the album that were created literally on the spot. Uh, you know, the, the ending track, closing track, movie a slip, a 19 minute song. Uh, two thirds of that was just created in, in, in a jam session, three in the morning, out of pure passion and 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 and, and joy, just for uh, happiness, just for just for uh, playing together. And, and that's the format that some of the best music comes out. I in. think so. Some of the best music. I've, it's pure I've, expression. I've I've spoken to Paul Simon. Uh, you know about. Um, yeah, he, he told me uh, uh, bridge over troubled water. You know uh, that he can't even remember writing that song. You know I mean, it was just. Uh, yeah, some of the some of the best work you do isn't isn't something that you're necessarily calculating right. and thinking about it. But there there is something to be said for for honing your craft as a songwriter sure. and having a pop sensibility. I think that's why people are are resonating with what we're doing because you know when I think back to Pink Floyd or or Genesis growing up, you know. It wasn't just about the musicianship; it was also about the emotion and about the music and the, the melody. And it's important to capture all of that, right? Right. And to keep it progressive. Great points. On a, some drumming notes, as a producer, as an instrumentalist, as a composer, and a drummer, how has being a drummer primarily, as a musician, or primarily a drummer, first of all, correct? Would that be fair to yeah, say? I started drumming when I was eight. Okay. Yeah. So how has that helped you as a composer overall and a producer, being just so connected to rhythms and the way the drums work and that sort that language by itself, separate from melodic? Sure. How has that sure. into it? Well, uh, I think you know, uh, it's definitely definitely fueled me. Uh, you know, in, in so many different areas. As I said, I, I you know I was I was big into DJing and. Uh, but my the, the next instrument I picked up was the piano, which is actually a very percussive instrument. Yeah. And uh, and so I took to that immediately. But in the way that it, it's it's uh, it's influenced my songwriting, I like to I like to write with the drums. I think drums are you know one of the most you know uh, basic and you know like primal primal forms of of communication and 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 and, and uh, uh, sonic communication. And that certainly resonates with me. Uh, you know, when I was growing up listening to Genesis on tour and I had, I was sitting right behind Chester Thompson and my dad doing those drum duets. I thought that was an amazing form of uh, songwriting in itself, how they were doing the call and response. Right. And uh, a language, literally a conversation. Yeah, absolutely. A, a, a conversation through drums. You can call it a drum battle, you can call it a drum duet, whatever you want. But that certainly has been, had a, a massive impact on what I do. And in fact, my father and I uh, did a, a drum duet on my third solo album on U Catastrophe called the, the Big Bang. Oh wow! Which was uh, which was influenced deeply by you know those those uh, those tours, those growing up on the road and watching those two those two go at it. But I think you know different influences come out on the uh, instruments that you write on. Yeah. So for me, I'm, I, you know, I love, I love world music. You know, I'm I was going to ask you about world music. Yeah, big fan of, uh, of a lot of, you know, uh, uh, tr tribal, primal. Uh, you know, uh, the Afro Celt sound system was a really great, great band. Uh, you know, uh, Peter Gabriel brought so many great bands through our uh, real world. Yeah. You know, uh, from across the world. Uh, but then, you know, I grew up, uh, you know, when I, in my uh, mid-teens, the, the, the post-punk explosion, the grunge explosion, Nirvana, you know, and so I pick up a guitar and different influences come out if I'm writing on guitar. Uh, my pop sensibility comes out if I'm writing on piano. So, but uh, overall as a producer, you know, the song is king. Yeah, yeah. The song is king. Yeah. And uh, for me, sound design was a big, was a big deal for me when I started DJing, uh, psychedelic trance, Goa trance, and uh, I was just blown away by the sonic wizardry of, of you know some of these these producers. And so, sound design, mental atmospheres has become a big part of it as well. 
So I love I love mixing it up, but uh, drumming will always be, you know, my my first my first love, you know. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No well, question, man. No question. <laughs> What's on the horizon? What's coming up for 2014? Are you touring? Are you putting out more material? Both. We're uh, right now we're rehearsing here in LA for uh, we got some upcoming shows. We're doing some cruises. Uh, some highlight shows are going to be these two cruises in the Caribbean with Moody Blues, uh, Roger Daltrey from The Who, obviously. Wow. Uh, we're also going to be on... Wait, wait, wait. Are you excited about that? That's ridiculous. I just went through the roof. I'm so <laughs> thrilled. How'd that come about, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, sound of Contact have been making waves, man. Big I, waves. Uh, you know, we're just so, just so humble, flattered, and, and just, you know, I don't think we went into this with with uh, any expectations other than the fact that like, you know, we went in and we made the album that we've always wanted to make. Right. And and that's obviously, you know, got us to a point now where we're, you know, respected amongst our peers and, and, and uh, we know, we, we love our fans, you know, we're just, just so grateful. Uh, we're, uh, we've also been invited to go on the tour with, uh, on this cruise with Marillion, or with Yes's Cruise to the oh, End. Oh, nice, great. We've been playing with Yes and uh, Marillion and Steve Hackett. Old friend oh, of mine. Oh wow! Yeah, of course. Uh, we're gonna be doing wow. suppers ready together on the cruise. Oh, okay. Can so you say the word stowaway? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, right. I'll try yeah. my best. That uh, is but we're great. also writing for the next record. Good. Good. Uh, Dimension Art was originally gonna be a double album, so there's a lot of material oh. left over. And uh, you know, Matt Dorsey uh, and myself, uh, we have a plethora of material. Also, we're you know we want to collaborate with a lot of different people, so we're also writing at the moment, and we're we're getting set up for some more shows for the for the year. We just finished our our new video for Pale Blue Dot, our second single, right, right, which is going to radio uh, like in the next two weeks. So uh, it's an exciting time right now, and uh, you know I'm I'm happy to be standing here. Yeah, uh, look at all this. Uh, uh, um, endorsement with Sabian, who have. Uh, Played for, as I said, for years. Uh, so I noticed in some pictures are, you're using the HHX series. Yeah, yeah. And, and some of the double AX and uh, yeah, the Ozone. I I play whatever uh, whatever sounds sounds right for for what we're doing. Right. Um, and I got a couple of prototypes. They've let me try out as well. Great. Uh, and I'm with D Drum. I'm using D Drum, which Good. are which are great. I got a really interesting uh, setup. You, it sound probably sounds familiar. Uh, growing up on the road with, with Genesis, I, I, unfortunately, I was never able to play my dad's kick because he's a lefty. Right, right. But uh, you know, I played. What happened to him? What's that all about? <laughs> my dad? Yeah, he, he's doing lefty. really well. He's doing really well. And he's getting he's getting back into writing music. Oh, that's so great yeah, to hear. I spent 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 Christmas with him, my my younger brothers as well. And, nice, nice. But uh, so you're able to now reproduce the sounds that really speak to you yeah. through your kit with what you're using now. Like, sure. what kind of heads are you using? I'm using Remo okay. Ambassadors. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, you know, I, I got a you know eight inch, ten inch concert toms, uh, fourteen, you know, a 12, 14, 16, 18 lower floor toms. Uh, I love my splashes. Yeah. Love my splashes. Uh, as I said, I'm big into these ozones, man. They're uh, interesting. They're they're exactly you know they're they're a perfect fit for what I'm doing and uh, you know I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my my kit compact. At the same time, you know what we're doing, we're planning on doing is some some double double drumming. We're bringing that back. Uh, our live drummer Ronan Gordon. Yeah. Is going to be uh, going to be playing my dad's parts for the Big Bang. When we go on on, on stage, nice. and, uh, we're going to be performing Dimensional in its entirety, playing some of the songs from my solo solo material, my, my solo albums, um, and so we're going to be having the two kits on stage and having some drum drum duet call and response stuff going on. Nice, that's great. And bringing that back because people love that. I mean, that yeah. has such a big impact on me. You don't have to be a drummer to enjoy or no, appreciate that. Really and not. one of the rhythms, one of the rhythms, <laughs> one of the reasons I really believe is because. Drumming really is innate in us, whether we're aware of it or not. Yeah, a piece in our heart, you know. And yeah, you know, hey, that sounds cheesy as well. But it's true. It's uh, it's something that you know, it's um, it's also taken so many different shapes and forms now. I love, uh, I also love drum and bass as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, mixing it up with with programmed drums as well. 
I'm really into just pushing it forward, exploring new sonic territory as a drummer, as a producer, as a songwriter. And uh, there's just there's uh, there's so much to look forward to with this band because uh, we're we know we're we're meeting new new musicians, we're working with new musicians all the time, and we have an opportunity to really push the envelope, yeah. or at least blow into it. So uh, so yeah, we're we're, uh, we're we're we have an exciting year ahead, and uh, you know it's going to keep. Keep pounding away the skins. My dad's really, uh, really happy. He loves the record. Great. You know, he's. Uh, I showed him my uh, live video, Cosmic Distance Ladder video, uh, over Christmas, and uh, he. I guess he'd forgotten just, just, just how, how good of a drummer I am. That's it's, great. It's, and you are good. You're very oh, good. Well, I appreciate Seriously. that. You know, it's. I. Um, I learn from the best. You know. That's cool. I didn't know you were watching my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's so good to hear. And right here on the screen is all the information for Sound of Contact, Simon's band. Check it out. It truly is a breath of fresh air. Seriously. It's so nice to hear music like that coming out in this day where, let's just say so many other things are still so popular. But it's very nice to hear that. And I'm so glad that you're so busy and writing this success. And, and continuing it on with more material. It's very exciting. Absolutely, a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming on Drone Talk TV. Uh, yeah. We'll Anytime. get together again. Let's Anytime you again. come to Vegas, I'd love oh, to do okay. even a more full, in-depth, sit-down sure. interview. It'll be a little quieter. We'll do it in my yeah. living room. Okay. It'll just be a couple cats, my okay. crew. You know, it'll be a little quieter. Anytime. Great. Anytime. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us, Simon. Yeah. Dan Schinder here with Simon Collins here on Drum Talk TV. We'll see you soon. Let's go race up the wall now. Here we go.